case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1987, the Supreme Court heard the case of Solorio v. United States, which centered on the authority of military courts over non-military offenses committed by members of the armed forces. Richard Solorio, a member of the Coast Guard, had been charged with sexual abuse of minors in Alaska and New York, and argued that the military court lacked jurisdiction over the Alaska offenses. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of the military court's authority, determining that Congress has the right to regulate the military, and that historical and legal precedents support this view. The court found that the service connection approach, which had been used to establish jurisdiction, was too complicated and deemed it unnecessary. Instead, the court held that the Constitution was not violated when military courts tried armed forces members for non-military offenses, essentially granting them the power to handle any offenses committed by their members. This decision upheld the military court's jurisdiction over the non-military offenses committed by Solorio and reaffirmed Congress's authority to regulate the military and establish rules for its government. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.